In this video, I'm going to teach you an insanely powerful lighting technique. Not only did this instantly level up my workflow, but it also got me more clients, more money, and more importantly, better renders. It's super easy to set up and will transform your lighting from this to this. So before I can show you the technique, we first need to understand what the problem is. Let's look at this product. Without the lighting technique, you can see the reflections are incredibly sharp. And more importantly, it's difficult to actually light the subject accurately. This is one of the main problems you deal with when lighting reflective surfaces. So how do we fix this? Well, it's insanely simple, and I'm not sure why this didn't become apparent to me sooner, but the solution is softboxes. Okay, so what I mean is to replicate a softbox lighting setup in Blender. This is going to diffuse the light source and create a beautiful gradient of lighting on your subject. So in Blender, I've got my basic scene and area light, and to create the softbox, we can do this in three easy steps. Games. What is that? What is that? Wait! It Step one, add a plane and a light source. Mine's already in the scene, so I'll select my light and press Alt-G and Alt-R to reset its location and rotation to the world origin. This is going to be super helpful for us going into step two. Get into this couch! It looks just like me! We want this softbox to follow our lights every movement, so it's easy to change the setup on the fly. So I'll select the plane, then the light, and press Control p to parent the two together. And lastly, we can move on to step three. And five. More water. We now want to add a softbox material to the plane, and this literally takes one node. So in the shader editor, make a new material and delete the principled BSDF. Now we can add in a translucent shader, plug that into the surface, and the lighting setup is ready to go. From here, it's just a matter of tinkering the light's power, but immediately you can see the massive difference this made to the scene overall. So now we have great lighting, great visuals, but there's still one massive problem. How do we go about getting great animation? To find out how to do that, you'll want to watch this video right here. 